Hi Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your August 21st through the 27th weekly love reading. Um, we'll see what comes up. I wasn't going to do weekly readings but due to all the requests I decided I would. So Taurus, the 21st through the 27th weekly love reading. I want to thank you to all my supporters and sharers and bookings and all that. Thank you very much. Now, if this doesn't resonate with you, um, check your moon sign or your rising sign or, you know, it, it's not going to resonate with everybody anyway. So, that it, it is what it is. Uh, I'd love to have you subscribe if you're interested. Um, yeah, so this is for Taurus. The 21st through the 27th. What do you have for Taurus? Alright, so the first card is about your intuition and listening to your intuition and um, any secrets that are going on right now. And maybe you'll become aware of those, you know. It looks like there's some secrets somewhere and you may already know what they are. Alright, so the second card is about... Um, self-respect you know it's about it's about it's a triumph it's a victory you know it's feeling more um comfortable with yourself i think that you are i think that you're starting to feel very very comfortable with yourself you're starting to move up as far as your thoughts i think you're having a very positive outlook you are thinking about your future you're focusing on your future um here we have the, your own inner conflict. So yeah, your your self-respect is coming back. You're starting to feel really good. You're starting to think more positive. Things are starting. To, you're starting to feel more stable in your life, but you still got you know some inner conflicts in there, and there's some tension somewhere. I'm not sure where yet. We'll get to that. But right here we have this is um, courage, confidence, um, enthusiasm, uh, just the the need to. Um, bring that out so whatever this is these inner conflicts this is telling you that you need to resolve them and you do that by thinking confident all right i see that you're you know you're you're getting better you're starting to feel better you're starting to have a more positive outlook on your future but every once in a while you got these little inner demons that tell you different and this is saying no 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 you you've got this keep doing keep going So there's definitely some some kind of epiphany on the horizon and it has to do with your self-respect, okay? I think it has to do with some kind of loss that's making you mope, making you mope around. You know, and it's crazy because um you, you it's like you're going back and forth. So you're feeling, you're listening to your intuition, you know there's secrets, it's really bothering you because you know there's some kind of secret, you know, and your self-respect is telling you, you know, that you love yourself too much, I can't do this, blah, 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 blah. Um, you, you have a breakthrough, all right? You're going to have some kind of breakthrough that increases your self-respect, okay? And it, it increases because of your... Of a recent you know you've been moping over something and you just you're not going to do it anymore you're deciding to let that go and bring the positive back into your life and I think that that you know it's just time for that to happen I think it's time for you to um, make a change 
all right? And the change affects the inner conflicts that are going in your head. Perhaps instead of acting in a way of hate, you know, of hate and anger, you decide to act with love, okay? And that takes courage and confidence to offer love, all right? So I think, you know, your maybe your mindset is changing, all right? This is the 21st through the 27th of August. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like your mindset is changing and you're starting to um, listen. I think you're starting to listen to your intuition and it brings back your self-worth and self-respect. <laughs> Okay, and then things start to change quickly because once that happens, you 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 raise your vibration. All right, um, here, this is like some kind of lies. This is what you've been moping over. You've been moping over some lies and some deceit. Um, but I think you're gonna let that go. I do. I think you're gonna let that go because here we have you, you know, moving up moving out of it, thinking positive, okay, thinking um, in the right direction, put it that way, um, and this brings a lot of happiness, it does, it brings a lot of happiness once you bring back your self-worth and your self-confidence and you let the past hurt go, okay, um, perhaps you start to realize that you have other options in the future, you know, and that, you know, You do. You have other options that can bring a lot of harmony to your life. It can bring a lot of harmony, stability, security, um, financial security. All right. You and um, happiness. Okay. There's definitely some happiness in the future. It's the center of this reading, and this happiness comes because you decide to change. You decide to do something. All right, you decide to do the right thing for you and make a change. I think it's from crying and moping and anger to, you know, because there's inner conflicts to love. And I think that you just change your vibration. Okay, and it takes courage and confidence to let stuff go. All right, but this is an exciting new beginning. Okay, a very exciting new beginning. Um, and it comes after a time of contemplation. So it looks like you have been really thinking about how to change and how to bring back your, the harmony in your life or because of past lies. Which is great because this is, this is a breakthrough for you. All right. This is a major breakthrough week for you. I think that you're on a path that you've been healing and your self-worth and your self-confidence is starting to come back. All right? And you start to follow your path and you make a big change that leads to something very exciting. All right? And passionate. So this is a love reading. What are we going to do next? We're going to do this after tarot. Now these are afterthoughts, but I really like this deck. So I'm going to give you um, some of these. This is for Taurus, the 21st through the 27th. If this doesn't resonate with you, then that's okay. Maybe only bits and pieces will resonate. Um, so I think this week is about you. I, you know, I think this week is about you feeling really good about yourself so far. You know, and bringing back some things that had been lost in your, in your thoughts, you know, your soul. So I think that, you know, you start to think in a more positive way. I think that you, um, I think it's a very good week overall. I think that you're feeling pretty good. You're feeling happy. So there's a lot of water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I think that person is, they could be just coming in or they could be here already. Um, they could be, um, you know, there could be a new offer of love, okay? And that is a breakthrough, a new offer of love. Um, again.
I think there's been past conflicts. Maybe this is somebody that you know. Maybe there is somebody that you know and there's been past tension. There's been past conflicts. Um, <laughs> definitely, definitely there's been some kind of... Uh, competition competition between the two of you and some kind of competition and perhaps there's been some um, tension and that that has caused you to feel this loss has caused you to, to this moping all right so maybe that's in the past maybe that is um, what causes you to change that's what caused that has what has caused the anger and the hate And it's what's been holding you back. That's and it is what has made you lose your self respect and self worth. Uh huh. Yep. Past competition, past tension, um, disagreements. Here we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Here we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Here we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Here we have your wishes being fulfilled. We also have hope. Okay? And healing. Alright? So I think this week is about you healing. That's what it is. I think that your healing process has very much um, magni magnified. Okay? I think that you have really started to heal a lot. I think you have healed a lot. I think you have healed a lot. And you've brought back, you're bringing back your self-respect and your self-worth and you're changing it. And that's why you're from feel, thinking negatively, you're moving to thinking positively. And because you're starting to drink the cup of love here. That's what's happening. You're switching from anger to love, from hate to love. I think that's what it is. So this is August 21st through the 27th. I think that you, I think this is a, a week of love for you. And I think that you're going to be offering love to, to anybody who comes in the picture. Seriously. So, um, <laughs> as far as a new partner, you could have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, because that's a new partnership, Pisces, and that's a new love. This is a new welling of emotion for somebody, okay? This is an Aquarius, but we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here the most and pretty prominent, so I think it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that is either um, giving you emotional support or coming in or um, part of your life already. Okay, so, um, that's what I see, that's what I have for the week of the 21st through the 27th of August. <laughs>